First of all, I want to ask you about a quote I read. Metal works as music for outcasts. That was your quote. Are you sure? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing with you. <laughs> what magazine was that? It was in Spin? Now, now she found it. What do you, and I thought it was interesting. What did you mean by it? You know, I, I, I talk a lot. And <laughs> a lot of the stuff I say, you know, I feel. I don't sit there and, you know, <laughs> scratch stuff out on the wall of my cell. You know, I, I, yeah. it just it comes from my heart. So yeah. let me see what I wrote. Well, I, I, just, I just took that part there. <laughs> and I just, I just figured, I know how you are. I know how you in, you're involved in, um, in the cause of, of youth in America, mm -hmm. the causes of youth in America. And I, I wasn't sure exactly what was on your mind when you said it. Well, right now, they say that uh, metal music is the cause of society today. We're a result of society today. Mm. You know, they say that the system works. Well, I think you should ask someone who isn't working. And I think that metal music is almost a, an escape for some of us who are getting looked down at because of our appearance. You know? Yeah. yeah. Which is a drag, you know? I really think so. You know, this is supposed to be America. You know, it doesn't matter what we look like. We should be able to get the same rights and, and liberties and jobs and all that kind of stuff. But people think just because we, we're... Yeah. People think because we wear jeans and, you know, that, that we don't, you know... I, I'm not everybody's going to have a college degree that, that goes looking for a job. Everybody's talking in, in politics about, you know, well, we're going to invest in jobs. And, you know, jobs for who? You know, jobs for everybody or just jobs for college grads? And, and what happens when the college grads go for a job and they're overqualified? You put a college grad waiting tables at Denny's and I'll show you a potential serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> Another Hannibal. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> wow. And I thought I was going to get nothing out of that question. And look where we went. Uh, I'm I was sorry, nervous I'm for a while. Sorry. Is it his quote? Will he say anything? Oh, my God. Uh, but we take a commercial and come right back. Okay, we'll be right back with Mega Dave. Travel the range through Continental. One airline can make a difference. What's the difference? Max Saber Fair is the greatest value in the air. That's the difference on Continental. Justice. Justice? Justice. That's very cool. Justice David. And how old is, is the baby? He's uh, almost six months old. 
Yeah. He's a That's stud. Cool. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> when your name is Justice, you kind of be, a, you know, gotta kind of be a stud. We were Tough watching guy. the Braves when we named him. I heard that. <laughs> Yeah, that's Halle Berry's fiance. Um, we're out of here. I'll see you in 23 hours. Peace. Go, Mike.